When photographing marble or any hard reflector surface, the light source is essential. Don't get hung up on details. Hey, sorry I'm late. Hey, that's okay. Did I miss any of the great Frado's instruction? He's given a lot of good tips, Sam. i give him a tip. Well, it's time for my powder break. You may look around, just don't touch anything. Okay, guys, uh, lunchtime? Dollars to donuts? He's back in his office snapping selfies, because listening to the sound of his own voice wasn't enough. The point of this club is to network so we can learn and improve our craft. Yeah, I'd like to learn how to earn a couple more bucks for this. Mr. Whitefish? Please, call me Kelly. But you're the president of the photo club. Whatever works. I'm really hungry. There's a gluten-free bag in there for you. I know. That's terrible. Someone stole your lunch? Don't you worry. We're gonna find out who did this, and we're gonna catch them. Sam used to be a crime scene photographer. So don't you worry, we're on the case. You used to be a crime scene photographer? It was intense. A lot of sleepless nights. That's why I do commercial work now. Plus, crime doesn't pay. Why'd you rope me into this? You know how intense things got back when I was on the force. Look, this is just a sandwich. We're not gonna have another massage parlor shootout here. Okay. I got an idea. So we're gonna find out who ate Celia's sandwich using thermo imaging. Affirmative. I figure I can tell who ate last using their heat signatures. We all just ate. Correct. Which means everyone had a chance to steal that sandwich. But why would someone eat another person's gluten-free sandwich? Wait, you're saying Celia's a celiac? Yes. That's kind of funny. Celia, celiac? Putting my detective hat on. Bonnie used to date Celia, which gives her the insider information and the knowledge to pull off this caper. Yeah, and that Michael guy has been awful squirrely, going around eating all kinds of snacks, not to mention Frado. Gentlemen, would you care to rejoin the group? Would you care to tell us what happened to my friend's sandwich? I don't drive an M109 to answer to piss ants like you. I'm gonna have a look around. And if I find out it was you, well then you're never gonna eat another gluten-free sandwich in this studio ever again. Come on, Sam, we don't have any evidence against him. I do what I want in here. It's my studio! As a matter of fact, take five! Take ten! Where were you during lunch? In the kitchen. Why did you eat your girlfriend's... Ex-girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend's sandwich! I didn't eat her sandwich. Get that out of my face! Well, you did leave the group before lunch. I went to the restroom. Prove it! Dude, I didn't eat her sandwich. Back off. In the chair, punk! Do you want six months in a coma? Or sudden death? You choose. I can't decide. Please, please, no, don't hurt me! Then why did you eat Celia's sandwich? I didn't. It has tomatoes on it. I hate tomatoes. Carry on. Well, have you figured out who stole your friend's sandwich yet? No, but we still haven't ruled you out. Uh-oh, come here. 
This is what I've been doing with my time. And I can't afford to steal someone's food. I'm in training. Swimsuit season's coming. <laughs> You're behind the camera. Well, the models need eye candy, too. <laughs> my name isn't Sam Wicken. I do believe I've seen it all now. Sam Wicken? Wicken. Witches? Sam? Witches? Sandwich? Sandwich! It was you! I guess he got hung up on the details. I feel bad for you, mocking the man with As you stand, yet you never try to mend your condition. Oh, try as you may, every single day, you still do what they say. It's true. You're acting so tall, but your feelings are small when your friends never call.